Hey everyone, Angelo here from Algorithm, back with another exciting and packed update for DJ and every kind of setup. Welcome to DJ 5.3. In previous updates, you've seen us announce groundbreaking features like Fluid Beat Grid, Crossfader Effects, and breakthrough technology like Mixed Reality DJing with hardware. Today's update is also a very big deal in a different way because for this release of DJ 5.3, we focus on a much broader scope of our core software across desktop and mobile to elevate your experience across the board. So with that being said, let's get into it. First up, you may remember in DJ 5.2, we introduced light mode on desktop. We've now brought the same experience to mobile and it's looking as stunning as ever. To activate light mode on your device, simply tap the light mode icon in the DJ home menu or anytime via your library menu. Next, we've enhanced hot cue mode and made it even more convenient to use. Previously, to apply a cue point perfectly on beat, you needed to either first toggle quantize on or manually cue the track into position before applying the cue point but now you can conveniently just hold down on any empty pad and the cue point will automatically snap to the nearest beat. And thanks to our revolutionary fluid beat grids, you can confidently apply cue points perfectly on beat and on the fly while any track is playing. This is sure to save you a ton of time preparing every new track in your library as you can now do it in real time during a DJ set. Not only that, you can now also rearrange your cue point button positions. Simply enable edit mode by clicking on the pencil icon and you'll now see grab handles on the right side of each cue point button, which you can easily click, drag and drop to any of the eight pad slots. Once done editing, just simply toggle edit mode off by tapping the pencil button again. You can also rearrange save loops in exactly the same way via the saved loops panel. Up next, we're introducing something we're calling Essential Tools. Those of you who use DJ on mobile devices will already be familiar with these easy access neural mix tools for instantly triggering instrumental or a cappella stems of a song. We decided to expand on these tools in this prime location so that now when you open the drop down menu, you'll see the neural mix options and two new additional tools. Selecting effects offers you two brand new instant effects banks, which are completely separate to the existing eight instant effects banks in the effects panel. Simply press them to toggle them on and off. And via the drop down menu, you can assign any effect to each button from a wide range of effects types. The third tool gives you direct access to Beat Jump, otherwise known as Skip. And again, via the drop down menu, you have the option to select the Beat Jump length. This is particularly useful when having the hot cue panel open at the same time to quickly apply cue points across your tracks in perfect fixed beat increments. The essential tools are also available in DJ for Desktop in the crossfader bar. And again, you have all the options available via the drop down menu. Okay, let's move on to crossfader effects, which we introduced back in DJ 5.0, allowing you to execute seamless transitions with sophisticated automated curves simply by sliding the crossfader from one deck to another. Today, we're expanding our roster of transition styles, and these have been carefully designed to sound smooth and avoid harmonic clashing when mixing between songs of different keys. And as of today's update of DJ 5.3, all crossfader effects are now also available in four deck mode. Ok, 
Okay, next up is all about Neuralmix, which you guys know is our revolutionary stem separation technology. We've always offered the ability to isolate songs by two, three, or four stems, and today we're introducing mute effects so that you can now trigger optional echo tails when muting or soloing stems. Mute effects can be enabled for Neuromix via the essential tools or via the dedicated Neuromix panel where you can also select the beat parameter for the echo. The pads now dim when the stems are muted and the bottom row pads now offer exclusive soloing for each stem. We've also revamped the routing for Neuromix effects, which now makes it possible to multi-select any combination of stems in a song and apply effects only to those stems. Neural mix stems can also be multi-selected for loop rolls, where you have full control over which parts of a song are affected by the loop rolls. This brings me on to an exciting announcement and brand new hardware integration. Alpha Theta's next generation DJ controller, the DDJ Groove 6, is now officially plug and play compatible with DJ across desktop and mobile to unlock new levels of creativity. Speaking of creativity, these next tools may just change the way you approach mixing for smoother transitions and creative mashups. And although we offer multiple ways of controlling stems, such as via the Neuromix performance panel, Neuromix EQs, Neuromix pad modes, and Neuromix digital vinyl, all of these options typically require two hands in order to exchange stems smoothly between songs. That is until now, because today we're introducing our next generation Neural Mix Crossfaders, which enable you to blend and swap individual stems for a mixing experience like nothing else. You'll find them in DJ for Desktop by opening the Neural Mix panel, then toggling on the swap button. And on DJ for Mobile by opening the mixer panel, enabling EQs, then selecting Neural Mix Crossfaders from the drop down menu. The additional drop-down menu that appears allows you to select the number of stem crossfaders. These cutting-edge tools allow you to swap stems from different songs completely on the fly and effortlessly by sliding each crossfader back and forth between the decks. We've also integrated Crossfader FX technology so that you can now trigger any transition style to any individual stem by sliding its designated Neuromix Crossfader. And by switching on Tempo Blend with both tracks synced, DJ will adjust the tempo in equal increments for each Neuromix crossfader during the mix to preserve the original tempo of any song by the end of the transition. So, what about performing this with hardware? Well, we may not currently have DJ gear with three, four, or even five crossfaders, but everything I've used in the software is mappable via DJ's MIDI menu. So purely for demonstration purposes and to show you what's possible, I've mapped my Reloop Mixon 8 to control vocal swapping with the booth knob, harmonic or instrument swapping with the Q volume knob, and drum swapping with the Q mix knob. I'm also going to be using crossfader effects with the echo transition and I've mapped the tempo blend switch to the view button so that I can easily toggle it on and off.
To my fellow DJs, I'm personally excited for you to get your hands on these tools and reimagine how you mix and take your DJ sets to the next level. So go and download DJ 5.3, which is a free update for all existing users and check out the full release notes of everything that's included. Stay tuned for more and until then, happy mixing.